Hello, my name is Sakara Jung Hapsari. I'm an international relations student at Al Azhar Indonesia University. And today I want to discuss about the Ford Industrial Revolutions or Industrial Revolutions 4.0. So sometimes I wonder whether the inexorable integrations of technology in our lives could limit some of I who intend essential human capacities such as compassions and cooperations. Our relationship with all smartphones is a case in point. Since the beginning of the 21st century, the means of communications has evolved significantly if we compare it to the past when people communicated through letters or phone calls. Nowadays, social media has become the new and advanced trend of modern day communications. With the new and advanced tool as well as technologies and cooperated with cheaper and faster internet access, the use of smartphone and social media applications has enabled people to interact with each other easily at their fingertip. Throughout history, there have been three major industrial revolutions and we're in the middle of the fourth one right now. For industrial revolutions that were in or industry 4.0, it helps to look back and understand what the first three industrial revolutions were so that we can better understand where we're headed with industry 4.0. It all starts with the first industrial revolutions, which happened in the late 1700s. And this is where water and steam power filled a lot of growth in agriculture and textile. Back in the time then, about a hundred years later in the late 1800s, we had the second industrial revolutions, and this revolution was driven by electrifications and the advent of electricity, and more importantly, the advent of modern mass manufacturing. So, production lines became more common and everything that was enabled by electricity in the economy that was enabled by electricity. And then, finally, in the 1970s is when the advent of the computer and supercomputer really filled that third industrial revolution. So, this is where supercomputers and enterprise research planning and other sorts of technologies really start to digitize businesses and economies throughout the world, which lead us to Industry 4.0 which is an extension of the third industrial revolution, but certainly a big shake up and a big change and pivot towards where we're headed in the future. And that's what I cover here today. The third industrial revolutions really laid the foundations for industry 4.0 and the computerizations and digitization of businesses throughout the world really gave us the building blocks and the pieces that are leading us to the industry 4.0. The key difference though with Industry 4.0 is focusing on connectivity and tying together all this technology and all this data that's been accumulating over years and decades. Now, additional technologies of the fourth industrial revolution such as artificial intelligence, big data, blockchain and cloud computing and many more will continue to play an important role in reshaping the social media today as we know it especially to our business, education and marketing purposes. This revolutionary also comes with different types of platforms that allow people not only to connect with each other, but also to gain various benefits from it, including those for business and political purposes that have been integrated into the daily usage of social media. Now, with rapid advancements of the technology, specifically in the context of the fourth industrial revolutions, gradually it has become a part of our daily life. So, one of the things that's being filled by this connectivity are the end-to-end -end business and processes that is the foundations for industry 4.0. Some examples in business field, internally instead of having separate system and silos and processes throughout the organizations, industry 4.0 is really focused on how they pull together all those business processes and all the data and the information and the workflows throughout the entire internal organizations. But it's not just about internal operations that they are connecting. They're also connecting suppliers and vendors that work together and making sure that they capture data and integrate their business processes and workflows and most importantly, integrating with customers. In other words, devices and sensors that are capturing data throughout the entire value chain from the customer's order through the internal operations to the vendor as well. So, capturing data at the customer's level in ways that organizations or companies haven't been able to do in the past. The next one is manufacturing shop floor, for example. There are robotics and machines that are producing materials or production finished goods, and there are sensors on those machines that are capturing data about what they are actually doing and the volume of productions. Or like an Apple Watch or a wearable devices that's capturing data about me personally and you personally every day, and that's capturing a ton of data that's now connected to the modern enterprise. And that is a key part of Industry 4.0. 
the whole connectivity of the entire value chain's technology and data behind it as well as the devices that enable it. And what a technology going to displace human workers soon? Will robots and machines put people out of a job or just fill ones that humans cannot do or want? To discuss these issues and share our views on the impact of the Industrial Revolution 4.0 and what we can do to respond it, I invited some of my friends from various universities in Indonesia. Guys, please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Zahira Lafitana Rizaldi, but you can call me Zahira. I'm a law student from Brawija University. My name is Esther Natani Kristanti. I studied at LSPR, which is London School of Public Relations, Communication and Business Institute. And my major is Communication. Uh, my name is Andy Patogi. Uh, I'm a six semester, or almost six semester, international relations student from Uben Fatan Jakarta. Okay, first question number one to all of you. Industry 4.0 is great. But there's also a dark side, and that is the ethical implication of Industry 4.0. And some things to think about are, what this means to you? What does this mean to you if we discuss about the workforce? Is technology going to displace human workers soon? Because these days, organizations, companies, and businesses now automating human jobs or replacing humans with machines, robots, and sensor data, they can do some of the work that humans were doing. What does that mean to you as a student, as a college student, on the way that great way in change your real job in the future. Regarding to the question, uh, for the first question is these days actually we've been facing the technologies issue, which means a lot of humans being replaced by the technologies or by the robots, and it's actually being a danger in the future, especially for us, the on the way fresh graduate student, because if we have graduated from our major now in any major you are in. Uh, med student, law student, international relations, etc. Our rival is not only our friends anymore, our senior anymore, but now it's a robot, which is they will be smarter than us because a lot of scientists input something to their core memories and it can make them smarter than us. And also this will be uh, dangerous because they will not feel tired or they didn't need a free day or a recess. And in the company's perspective, it makes it more effective by the cost and by the time to use robots rather than us as a human. So I think it will giving a huge effect and impact for us in the future if we did not have any backup things to do since we are a student, for example, upgrading skills, developing ourselves, uh, etc. I really agree that this is the new way to maximize our activities in order to get a maximum results. But in other side, I think it's better to keep these two things in the same places together because we need both of them to reach their effective system in an organization or business right now. Human holds an important role and this is the most important element in my opinion because there's a thing that robots or machines can't do. They do have a limit in some aspects, example like social aspect and creativity. Human had a lot of sorts of imagination, so they will bring a new concept or new trend. Not only that, they also can build a relationship with partners. Technology is the part of our daily activities, but it will be good if we can use technology with a human that can operate it very well. As a student, which go to college for specific career or job, of course, I will be worried, just like other college students. The change of an era where many jobs will be replaced with AI or digital tool in which we reduce the number of jobs will definitely tighten the competition among college graduates in job hunting. Although my personal career goal is on international relations or diplomatic field, will not be affected that much because the need for human interaction for negotiation will still be sufficient. Although it could be a different story for those um, aiming for diplomatic career in administration field, uh, for with the development of the recent cloud and big data algorithm could reduce the number of we need human resources in administration administration sector. But regardless, my field of career, especially for diplomatic course member in an embassy or consulate, will not that affect because again the need of human interaction in diplomacy is still relevant, regardless in the rise of digital replacement. But again, this means I need to improve the amount and quality of my soft skill. Uh, such as using Microsoft Excel for administration, data analysis for research, reminding I or study, study, all kind of field, and also my verbal communication and etc. Okay, we move to the next questions. Questions number two. One core aspect of the four industrial revolutions is the dramatic change in the ways by which people engage with each other and the ways companies engage with their consumers, also students communicate with each other. 
consider, for example, like social platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Twitter have changed the way we communicate these days. There must be a positive side to this technological change and also a negative side that we must certainly avoid. How are you going to manage that change? And more importantly, is there something we can do as a college student to manage the situations, which is why the workforce, as we have discussed previously, but also about the millennial and Gen Z dependence on the social media platforms? Or generation seems so addicted to it and they're starting to be individualism or be in their comfort zone? Actually, social media is a good platform if you can use it wisely, because for me personally, I found out a lot of new things, not just uh, align with my major, but a lot of things such as developing myself, understanding more about how the world works. It's from social media because we cannot reach something too far. For example, I'm in Indonesia and I did not know what happens in America or in Korea if it's not from social media. But unfortunately, on the other side, there's a lot of people not using the social media as it used to be because apparently a lot of millennials, millennials use social media just to make a friends, not knowing the impact by using the social media not wisely. And I think if we can make a campaign or make people understand on how to use social media wisely, it will be a good thing for us. And social media will be more useful. And I think it can also make us came out from our comfort zone because from social media, we can see uh, a lot of students in the other countries try to understand the things that we already understand, but we did not improve it just because we think that's not a useful thing to develop or to improve. First, I will explain about the positive side from the social media that I feel as a teenager. Social media always be the second source of my knowledge. I learned a lot from there and easily got a new information about global issues and many more. By this media, I can access many things that I need at the moment. Especially, social media is the best way to explore new world across the country. And I recently learning Korean language only from YouTube. So I don't need to attend the course. Of course, I can save my money for another urgent things. But unfortunately, there's a negative side of social media. Same as the topic that we discussed before, sometimes we can easily get addicted to it. And as a result, it affects our personality and our daily life. It will happen when we can control ourselves to use the social media for the right purpose. Also, there's a change. There can feel insecure about their life and not satisfied enough with their achievement. So, we can conclude that we have to be a wise nature when using social media. With the right purpose, social media can bring you to a better future and better life. Uh, Gen Z and millennials dependent on social media, unfortunately, has with such level that is hard to or almost impossible to eradicate, not in terms of the bad side effect, but many mobile platform. Also, provide crucial utility for jobs communication and for information provider. Um, personally, I have become much more selective regarding using my mobile app. Regarding that Gen Z and other future generations need to be much more aware of what will you do in the future or future planning. Because again, the competition regarding in job hunting will be much more difficult, especially with the uh, revolution of technology such as AI and algorithm will prove much difficult, especially for salary men. That is what I can, I can explain. The four industrial revolutions finally will change not only what we do but also who we are it will affect our identity and all the issues associated with it our sense of privacy our notions of ownerships our consumption patterns the time we devote to work and leisure and how we develop our career cultivate our skills met people and nurture relationships it is already changing our hope and leading to a quantified self and sooner than we think it may lead to humans augmentations one of the biggest concerns with Industry 4.0 or the fourth industrial revolution is the disruption it has on the job market. While it is true that low-skilled workers are currently the most affected group, the extremely rapid development in technology is now able to replace human skilled work as well. Technology has gone beyond replacing human's muscle power by being trained to perform cognitive tasks. Artificial intelligence, real change, chatbots are a few among many technologies that have and will continue to eliminate human jobs. Technology might be a useful servant at present, but turn into a dangerous master in the future. While a technology-related career might be a good option, this does not mean that everyone should be a software engineer or data scientist. Or future high-tech world still needs professional in fields other than technology. However, we need to be strategic in picking a career today by looking at the future, not the present or the past. One of the most important things 
keep familiarizing yourself with the growing technology of today and stay informed and updated about technology. Human workers in the future will need to be creative to fully realize the benefits of all the new things for the future, like new products, ways of working, and technologies. Robots currently cannot compete with humans on creativity. The future workplace is going to demand new ways of thinking, and human creativity is the key to it. A person's ability to be aware of, control, and express their own emotions as well as being cognizant of the emotions of others describes their emotional intelligence. An individual is considered as exhibiting high emotional intelligence if he or she has empathy, integrity, and is able to work well with others. A machines or robots cannot easily replace the ability of a human being to connect with another human being. So, those who have high AQS will be in demand in the workplace of the future. Due to the speed of the change in the future workplace, people will have to be agile and able to embrace and celebrate change. Not only will all brands need to be flexible, but we we'll also need to be adaptable as we are required to adjust and shifting workplace expectations and skill sets. An essential skill during the fourth industrial revolution will be the ability to see change not as a burden, but as an opportunity to grow and innovate. I guess that's all I can discuss and explain about the fourth industrial revolution. If there are any wrong words and information that I convey, I would like to apologize about it. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you very much, everyone. See you next time.